Hey, curious kids, it's time for Science Thursday with Dr. Martha. Let's get started. Before we start science, you wanna make sure that you are wearing clothes that your parents say is okay to get dirty. You also want sleeves that are not gonna get in your way. So let's roll these up before we get started. Today's science activity comes from 365 science activities published by Osborne Publishing and distributed by Paper Pie Learning. We are doing experiment about color chromatography. So what you need for this experiment are scissors, any scissors will do. You need some felt tip pens. These can be the flare pens like what I have here. You can have um, regular Crayola type markers. Anything that's not a permanent marker that's a felt pen will work. You need a dish. Um, with a little bit of water in it and you need a coffee filter. So step one is we are going to prepare the coffee filter. Are you ready? All right, so I'm folding the coffee filter in half and then I am going to cut it in thirds and then I'm gonna cut off the bottoms on all of these so I have a nice flat bottom and on the sides, snip up the side. All right, and we are ready when we have these little sort of triangular type pieces with flat bottoms on them. Okay, now I've asked my lab assistants here today, they are going to help me color a line toward the bottom, but not at the bottom, of each of these coffee filters. So, everybody grab a color. Everybody grab a couple of coffee filters. I chose uh, this one. All right, I'm gonna choose black. Super exciting black here. And here's where you're gonna draw your line, right about here. And you can go back and forth over it, got a lot amount of ink on there, but you're gonna draw your line about that close to the bottom so that it's not touching the bottom, but close to it. All right, once you have your colored lines on here, then we're gonna pull our saucer with water in, and we are gonna set the flat part of the coffee filter down in the water. So everybody grab one of yours and set the flat part down in the water, and you're just gonna hold it gently there and let the water soak up through it for a little bit. Done. Wait, you mean I can let the paper touch the water? I just don't want You can want let the paper touch the water, the water, but not the color. Oh, I can see it happening. I can see it happening. For some reason, it's all seeping upward. So the water is seeping up your filters because of a process called capillary action, which means it's water in a confined space is going to move upwards because the molecules in the confined space attract it to continually move towards a drier part and make it wet. So it will pull the ink with it as it ah. seeps up the coffee filter. Whoa, that's cool. So what we're doing here is we are actually separating the inks by the colors that the inks are made of. So this was the black ink, and you can see it doesn't just have black in it. It has red, and it has blue, and it has green, and it has brown. It has all these different colors in it that were mixed together to make the black ink. So when we separate the ink with water, the different colored ink molecules have different densities, and so they rise higher on the paper depending on their density. This process of separating the ink by its colors, by their density, is called color chromatography. So you can Red. check this out with all of your different colored markers and figure out which ones separate into different colors and which ones have only one color in them are the true color of the marker so that you can see what colors in your markers are made up of different colored ink pigments. It's your turn. Oh, purple is made of a teeny bit of blue. 